This video is about building this little adapter here to hold the die grinder. So if you want to see more details on that, hang around. I really need to grind the jaws on my three jaw chuck here on the Atlas lathe. They are really, really off. I'm going to call that 22 thousandths out. There's been two reasons why I haven't got around to grinding this thing. First, I don't have an internal post grinder. Mine's external only. Um, so I have to rig up some way to attach my little die grinder, which not that big of a deal. But the real kicker is I don't have a good way to hold these jaws under tension. But then I saw something the other day on the internet that I am going to try and I think is super easy. Turn it on here, see if they fly out. Oh, they stay. Okay, well, now we gotta rig up the die grinder. Um, probably needs to set forward on the tool post so I have clearance here. So something about, oh, it'd be kinda nice if that was three inches tall. So I could clear that. And two inches, that way should be enough, looks like. So if I had a piece of angle iron that was two by three by, oh, that looks like eighth of an inch, there is it. I'm not sure if that'd be too floppy or not. Eh, see how that angle confuses you. No, I do not have the Rockford Chuck in the Chuck of the Atlas. <laughs> so, found this piece of uh, bent strap iron. It's the closest thing I have. Apparently I'm completely out of 2 by 3 inch angle iron. Doesn't surprise me. I use a lot of that stuff. Always out. Can't keep it in stock. So I think this will work alright for this project. It's quarter inch thick. Uh, so I'll probably face it down. I was going to face it down anyway to make it a little, to make it square. But, you know, having it thicker will allow me to remove more material. Have it screw in. Uh, I'm going to cut it off, and bolt it down, and I'm going to make sure that this piece is perpendicular this direction, as best I can. It don't have to be perfect, since this is not a machine finish. Just get it darn close. And to... Oh, yeah, I'm not a man enough. Anyway, point being, that's what I plan to do. Stick that in there, and that will be my fly cutter. And I have a problem. There's no way the die grinder is going to be able to sit on top of that bolt and still be on the center axis. So I need to go with two bolts in this plate, one on each side of that one. Um, I do not have the cutter sharpened at this point, and I thought, you know what? I'm just going to give that a quick try, just for kicks and grins, without it sharpened. Actually doing a little bit of cutting. Oh, I knew I sharpened it wrong. I wanted it to where this was flat this way. Instead I sharpened it that you know what? Yeah, I still might be able to get by that way. I'm gonna try it. I think that might be enough relief behind it. That's a pretty nice finish. Oh yeah. Plenty of machine surface for the die grinder there when I'm on center. Cool. Boy, I don't know. I'm still wondering if that die grinder is going to be on center. That rubber 
is really going to hit on that hard. It might make it. I'm actually tempted to take this over to the bandsaw and cut this off on this line. I'm going to see about drilling a hole in here. Um, actually, no, I don't want to. I was going to drill a hole in here, flip this thing around, and then machine this side. But if I machine this side, that'll change the height of this, won't it? Uh, okay, I want to drill two holes in it. It actually doesn't have to be done with the lathe, does it? Matter of fact, I may not want it done with the lathe. Oh boy, I'm running myself in circles here, aren't I? Uh, yeah, I don't know, because I need clearance back here. The holes can be, they basically need to be an inch from the back. So they need to be basically at the end of the scale there in order to bolt back here properly. Oh, how crucial is it that this thing is machined on both sides? Am I wasting my time? Through the magic of editing, Shazam! I have two holes. And now we're in cut us and interrupt us. I'm going to tighten up the gib on my compound back here. Oh, that's a little floppy. back here and see if I can't tighten up this gib a little bit. Not that you can tell what I'm doing. A couple of rough spots in there. Definitely catches the thumbnail though, so. All right, I reground it just a little bit. I wanna get this right. So, changed my geometry here a little bit. All right, so. We are gonna call that, and I'm gonna go in just five thousandths. Which way is in again? See what this grind gets me. I like playing with grinds. Ow! I was walking right in the forehead. Let's find some other place to stand. Oh yeah, those chips look a lot better. Yeah, I'm liking that a lot better. I think I had it cutting too much on the point before. It ain't perfect, but my chips went from these little purple things, like this, to these little curly Q tan things like this. So it's definitely cutting a lot better. I even got a few little springy ones, it looks like. I think that's from this cut. Uh, so, yeah. Definitely had it all wrong the first time. I don't know where my head was at. That's my fingernail. Yeah, pretty happy with that. I was getting ready to start boring the hole and tap it out. And I measured the threads on this thing earlier and thought this die, this inch and three eighths, or tap, thought this inch and three eighths tap was right. It's not the right thread pitch. So that changes my plan, because I was just going to, you know, run the tap through there and be done with it, because I thought I had one. Ah, so now I'm thinking that over. I probably what I will do is put this piece then in the four jaw chuck and then single point it. We'll see, but I just discovered that. 
So that kind of changes my plan of attack here. So I just kind of eyeballed the edge, the center drill on the edge of the plate here. And uh, this is three inches wide. So that means I want to come over an inch and a half, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That should be center. That is spot on inch and a half. Not a spot on inch and a half. That is good. All right, she's through. Wish I could have that center hole on the other side. So when I put my live center in there, it would be on there proper, but... <sighs> Doesn't always work out like you want. Okay. Now I'm going to change everything over and put this in the four jaw on this side. What I'm going to do, or try it, if it will clear, I don't know. I'm afraid the chuck won't clear. But I'm going to take it over the drill press and see if I can hold this in the drill press, the angle iron in the vise, and drill it that way because now I, you know, that's centered. It worked. So now I can put the lathe center in there and know I'm right on. So all I'm doing here, got the tailstock slid up here, it's tightened down, drove it forward, the jaws are actually not even close to touching it, and then I'll just tighten up these jaws and kind of work my way around and around, and I'll start boring. And I got a precarious setup going here. Hopefully this will work. Makes me a little nervous. Yeah, looks like I can reach all the way through there anyway. Now oh, let's go for 30 thousandths, why not? That's almost making me dizzy to watch. So, 300 thousandths more. One point three two five. I'm sure you want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all set up. Single point here, ready to thread. And I had the idea that maybe I should see how much clearance I have with this. I can't thread that in there. I think even with that shut, it ain't going to thread in there. So I'm going to bore this out until that slides in, and I'm going to machine a step in it, and then I'm going to use this. So I'll slide the die grinder in there, it won't screw in, it'll just slide in, and then I'll tighten this washer up on the back side. That'll be what holds it. Okay. I think I am ready to try this, and that clears, right? Yay! Time to put away all my tools. They're starting to fall off the lathe. Yep. It shimmies in there. I like that a lot. Couple times in and out. Oop. Get rid of that chip, see how it wax. Oh yeah, that's it. Now my grand plan is to machine this thickness down to one hundredth of an inch. I want to come out. One fifty. See how big that actually is. Actually, don't have enough to grip on over there. One, three, six, four. 
almost. I'm gonna go there for a little while, and then we'll see if it fits or what. I think that's it. Should fit like that. Well, I guess for kicks and grins, let's take it out of the lathe and see. it is. A die grinder holder for the lathe. Finally. Now, maybe later, after I feed cows, I can try this out. I'm very anxious to do this. So there it is, in the tool post, ready to grind my three jaw. It was a fun build. I really enjoy it. So if you want to see it actually grinding this chuck, then click here on this video. If it doesn't work that you can click here, then hopefully the link is down in the description below. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the build. Dakota, are you dead? Dakota? Dakota? Wakey wake. Man, he is out. Guess he needed a good nap.